Good morning, welcome to Sorrento. We are just down at the harbour, the Marina Piccolo in Sorrento and we are heading over to Capri today. We haven't booked any tickets or anything, you don't need to book tickets, you can just turn up. It is early, is it? What time is it? Like quarter to nine or something like that? It's about quarter to nine. There's a lot of people wanting to go to Capri. There are quite a few different ticket offices. None. We have our tickets. In terms of cost, that was 20 euros each, each way. So that just cost us 80 euros. This is going to be an expensive day, I think. This is our boat to take us to Capri. <laughs> There are different types of boats that can take you over to Capri. Different ones will go at different speeds and obviously then take different amount of time to get to Capri. This one that we took was on the slower side and took about 50 minutes or so. You can get over to Capri in about 20 to 30 minutes on the faster ferries. Welcome to Capri. We have arrived and our first task is we're trying to find, we want to go to the Blue Grotto, so we're trying to find tickets to the Blue Grotto. We think that you get like an island tour including Blue Grotto. You could have got them on the boat but we didn't really understand it. So if you could get them on the boat because now we have to keep. The situation with boat tours and tickets for the Blue Grotto is you can either just do a straight to the Blue Grotto and back which costs 20 euros or you can do a boat tour around the tree plus a visit to the Blue Grotto which is only 21 so we're doing that one that one, one. that one makes the most sense to us upstairs yeah Grotto you would get off 
and do the Bugatti there but actually what you do is just go around the island back to the marina and then you've got to get a different smaller boat over to the Blue Grotto which we've just been to go and do and they're currently closed they said because they were just too busy yeah. I thought they said something about the tide because they can't let you like every morning at nine o'clock someone goes and checks that they can open it up for that day in terms of like the tide and everything because it's a very small like cave it a very small cave to get through um, and so they said that they're closing it for one to two hours um, I thought they said because of the waves Stephen says it was because they were too busy because the queues over there were like two hours long or so so our plan was to just do that now but we're gonna head we're gonna grab a bus up to the chairlift instead and hopefully fingers crossed the Watto will be open for us to go in after the chairlift. The driving in Capri is insane. In the summer it's forbidden to take cars onto the island and it's easy to see why. I mean good for them, that's some Right, we've just got off the bus, that was a ride and a half, I tell you, and just right opposite it is the chairlift that we're going to go on. Here it is, the Monte Salado chairlift. It is 12 euros each for return or 9 euros single journey. We made it up the chairlift. I was pretty nervous <laughs> beforehand, but it was high actually. Wow. It's beautiful up here. It was worth scariness of that <laughs> chairlift and see like all the all the things that we've just seen on the boat tour we can see from up high so that is capri and this that we're on is anna capri which i didn't know there was two different things to do i assume that over there is like the mainland so that's where it is over on that side there's a chinese over on that side there is like a bar, I don't know if it's a restaurant actually, I think it's a restaurant. Is it a restaurant? We don't know, there's people having drinks, there's not really anyone eating. But there's that here, not much else really. Just some amazing views over Capri. I think now it's time to go back down. See the bottom.
Grazie. Grand Marina. That looks nice. We made it. They are going to the Blue Grotto on a smaller boat now. to the Blue Grotto, so we're now just hanging around on our boat waiting for our turn. You go in on one of these little Rome boats, you've got to pay an extra 14 euros each to go in. So we're just hanging around until it's our turn. I'm not sure whether all these boats have been or are in the queue or what's going on. Squeeze. Here we go, it is our turn. We've been waiting here for half an hour. And the boat's starting to come over and we're gonna go in. I love these Capri taxis so much. If I ever came to Capri again, or if I had more money when I came to Capri. <laughs> What is it? How much is it? 20 euros. 20 euros to get up to to get up to the cable car chairlift flip. But. Well, our time at Capri has come to an end. We are heading back to the marina. Well, we're kind of at the marina really to grab our boat. We've already bought a boat ticket. 
But if you didn't already buy one, you didn't buy them turn over into Renfrew, you can buy them here. We think we're getting on this boat back to Sorrento. We were heading, we are walking down there, but a man told us to come this way. So, we think, he said M20, yeah, M21. That's M21. This is a big boat. This is like, yeah, the proper ferry. Yeah, so Yeah. Preference? Yeah. Yep. Bye Capri. <laughs> Squeaky. Back to Sorrento. If you look at the road, it's hard.